I have something I want to tell you. Hey my beauties, welcome back to Plus Stars by default. Today we're going to be talking about something that's really near and dear to my heart. That is, that is kind of a touchy subject to me because I've never spoken to anybody about it. Not even my family. I don't think a lot of people know that I have this or that I feel this way at certain times. And this may explain some of my actions and how I act. But we'll get into that. So anyway, today I'm going to be talking to you guys about depression and anxiety because a lot of people go through these on a daily basis and they feel like they're living alone you know they have like okay how can I explain it with me I have a lot of people that support me and people get mad at me when I say you know like I feel like I'm alone in this world because people actually love and care about me like I think there's people that would actually care if I die right now God forbid but I don't feel like that I'm the type of person where I want attention all the time 24-8 like it's no in between that and you know a lot of people have lives too so me not getting that attention sometimes puts me into a downward spiral then added to that depression it's like my mind never stops and it's like I don't know what it is with my mind but it's like I always think the worst first thing that comes to my mind is not like for, oh, it's so hard to explain it's like for example, you'll come to me and be like, okay, I'm going to ask, I, I know you like Josh, and I'm going to ask him, yeah, go, um, will he go on a date with you type shit? And the first thing that comes to my mind is, okay, he's going to deny it, because that's the negativity in my mind. Don't get me wrong, I am confident. I love myself to death. But I do have times where I feel not as beautiful as everybody else does, because in the world that we live in, there's like this image that we all have to fit and nobody fits that perfect mold if you fit that perfect mold bitch you was you you know what I mean you either blessed or you got it cut up and I'm gonna keep it a whole stack with y'all nobody fits that mold just like with titties titties are not perfect I don't know where only little titties is perfect big boobies like mine need a nice bra to keep them up looking good you feel me and and, and this is just society this is the society that we live in and this is stuff that we have to portray that we have to not be our natural selves. That's another reason why I cut my hair. I cut my hair because I felt like it was weighing me down. I would not leave my house if my hair was done. That is sad. What the fuck? So I cut it off. Now I can't. I don't have no excuse. <laughs> I don't have no hair to do. All I have to do is be my face and keep it moving. Or throw a wig on or something like that. Like Other than that, like, and I wanted to go natural. I wanted to embrace how beautiful I was. I saw my mother cut her hair and she's beautiful with her haircut. So I was like, okay, let me try it. I want to see it. Her texture is nice. Let me try it. So that's what I decided to do. But back to being, back to in, um anxiety and depression. Um, But yeah, people like me, we live constantly with our minds always on the go, always thinking, always thinking. And like I said before, I always resort to thinking the worst about everything. So it's not that I want to be negative and I want to lash out. I'm just a very defensive person because I'm always thinking. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of hard sometimes for me to process what the hell is really going on in reality because I live in my head a lot. I stay by myself a lot. And on top of that, I'm a loner. So I feel like I don't have a lot of friends. And there's a lot of people that I've, I've pushed away that were actually truly closer to my family than they are my friends. But you know what? Shit happens. And I'm not mad at them for leaving because at the end of the day, I can be an asshole. And I want y'all to know that. Don't get all kiki key because I'm cute on the channel. I can have my moments where I'm an asshole and I switch. Drop of the dumb. Like, just like that. I could be laughing and then I can be upset and everything triggers me a lot of my friends were like yeah we leave you alone and I hear this a lot we leave you alone when you get upset because we know how you are you need space and then in my head I'm like y'all leave me alone it makes me feel like y'all don't care about me but they just like girl we just trying to leave you alone because if we don't we gonna kill you and I respect it yeah I have my moments and I'm admitting that and that's why I'm talking to y'all because I've never really spoken to anybody about what goes on in my, my head from a daily basis. Like, for example, my relationships sometimes don't work out because I think a lot. It's a lot of times where stuff will get me upset and 
I'm, I'm a leg shaker. I'm a heart beating fast. I get sharp pains in my chest just because I lash out. And as I'm getting older, I'm learning this is not the way to go. You grown ass lady, you beautiful. You are a beautiful black young woman. That's not how we behave. We don't behave like animals in a zoo. We act like ladies. So that's what I'm learning to do. Act like a lady. If I'm going to sit here be my face look all cute, I'm not going to mess it up. Fucking with some ratchet bitch because sometimes I decide that I want to look so crazy out my mouth. Come on, my lady. I got to learn to grow up. That's why, I'm, again, I'm talking to y'all because I hope this helps somebody. Don't feel like you're trapped. Like there's nobody there. There's always somebody to talk to. Even if you don't have nobody to talk to in your lives. Come out at me. I could always use new friends. You feel me? Like in I gotta stop I gotta stop playing victim sometimes because I have a habit of doing that too. I start some shit and then, and then try to change it like no, it wasn't like that. But it was. And I know it was because I don't like to take um, responsibility sometimes, but that's a part of growing up. That's because, that's because, what? That is a part, that is a part of becoming a woman. Owning up to your responsibilities. You do something, you own up to that shit. Because you did it. You know what I'm saying? And that's just something, a little peace of mind that I want to share with y'all. It was something that was going through my head. And... I'm not perfect. I'm not. I'm nowhere near where I want to be in life, where I plan to be in life, but I'm working on it, and it takes time. Honestly, success takes time. It shouldn't gonna happen overnight. It's not just like okay, well, you know what? I just started my YouTube channel tomorrow. Mac is gonna hit me up like, yo, we want you to be a makeup artist and a model, and a... it's not gonna happen like that. But working with him up there, it's gonna happen. He already done blessed me with the tools that I need. All I got to do is paint the picture. So that's what I'm doing right now. So I am so excited that you guys continue to follow my journey and watch my story unfold. Um, if it was good sharing it with you, you know, that I don't understand. I don't know if you guys, sometimes when you get stuff off your chest, you can actually feel yourself like legging it up. I feel that. Like I feel really good right now. So. Uh, I guess I'll end it here. <laughs> Drop some topics below. Stuff that you want to talk about or you would like me to talk about or share that I go through in my life. Um, but yeah, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Y'all know the drill. <laughs> yeah, I love y'all. And I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> to the lose.